QPR remain rooted to the bottom of the Premier League table after they suffered another defeat, this time at home to West Ham. The Irons bagged two goals in the first half from Matt Jarvis and Ricardo Vazte, before Andre Tarupt pulled one back for the hosts. The result means that the Hoops are still winless, with only two points from their first six games. Pressure is building on manager Mark Hughes, but QPR chairman Tony Fernandez has come out in support of the coach. On Twitter he said, Mark will sort it out. Look at his record. We would have won if we didn't go down to 10. He went on to add, Keep calm. Six games does not make a season. I have learnt from many wise chairmen. Jose Mourinho is a man who's always seemed in control of his destiny, and the flamboyant manager said that after managing Real Madrid, he will return to England. Speaking to CNN, Mourinho said, I just say openly that for many reasons, after this, the next step will be England. Not to insult the La Liga champions, he added, When I don't know, I don't have an idea. I'm so happy in this moment to be manager of the best club in the world. Many have touted Mourinho to take the Manchester United hot seat when legendary manager Alex Ferguson retires. But Mourinho said he'd rather face against Fergie than succeed him. For me, he is the boss. I call him the boss because he is the boss of the coaches, and I hope when I go back to English football, he is still manager of Manchester United. That could mean Mourinho will one day return to Chelsea, who are in Champions League action tonight against Danish side FC Nordschland. After drawing the first match 2 all with Juventus, manager Roberto Di Matteo said it was vital the Blues picked up an away win tonight. Well, you see, um, for us tomorrow is probably the most important game uh, in this uh, group stages because, um, you know, we drew the first game home. Um, so it's important that... Um, that we, we can gain points away from home. Elsewhere, Manchester United take on Romanian side CFR Cluj, while Celtic play Spartak Moscow.